Good evening, everyone. Thank you for being here tonight. Welcome to Wednesday's Side Hustle Stuff. Um, tonight, we will be stuffing $260 from my side hustle. My side hustles are Uber Eats, Instacart, and I just added DoorDash this week. Um, the last two weeks I had really good weeks, but I also had vacation days from my full-time job and I did not have that this week. Um, so when I do my side hustle is when my kids are at practice or at functions. Um, I just do a few while they're in there before I have to pick them up or on weekends before the family gets up and going. So um, I don't miss family time for them. It's just a little boost to our income. I am keeping them separate from our regular income just kind of out of a little bit of curiosity to see how I do since I just started this in um, at the end of November. But all of these causes are for our joint accounts. Um, it's just a little a little bonus money per se. A um, little bit of housekeeping. Um, I have two channels I want to talk about tonight. First one is D versus Debt. They, she just hit 1,000 subscribers today, which is awesome. She only had 30 to go and she hit them quick. But what I'm asking of my subscribers is please go to her channel, please subscribe and please watch her videos. Um, the watch time will help her um, get to monetize her channel and she's awesome and her videos are awesome and it's good content and I think you'll enjoy them. And the other one is budgeting the bacon. We are on similar paths, very similar. Um, and I totally am connecting with her channel and I think that if you enjoy my channel you will enjoy her channel too because they're very similar. So those are my um, plugs for two amazing channels, Budgeting the Baking and D versus Debt. Check them out. Um, on this channel we talk about cash stuffing and budgets and side hustles and I'm sure I'll overshare at some point on all the things about me. But right now my name is Angie and I am married and I have two boys. Um, one is in his last year of elementary school and one is in his last year of middle school. And um, me and my husband have made it our goal to pay down the principal on our mortgage as much as possible in the next two years and that my goal will be to be debt free at 53. So a little bit about me and now let's get to stuffing. This is my breakdown. I am gonna set it to the side. Um, and we'll count 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 92, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, and 60. So hope you are all doing well. This is probably going to be a pretty quick video. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, if you like it, I would love for it to get your likes and your comments and subscribers. Although I'm doing this journey to keep me consistent, I have to admit the subscriber thing is a little nerve-wracking. Like, um, you see it and then somebody will say, oh, I subscribed. And then you'll look and your subscriptions are the same or they went down. And um, just being honest and open here, it stresses me out a little bit. So. I am focusing on this journey for me, but I love to have you along for the ride. Knowing somebody's going to be here makes me even want to do it more. And also, I love watching all the journey, other journeys on um, YouTube, so that's that's what I'm doing here. All right, taxes is getting 26. Um, I have no idea how taxes is going to affect our whole our taxes as a whole. So each week, I'm taking 10 to 15 percent and then putting it away. Um, this is week two of the year, so there's two weeks worth in here. I did pull the stuff I saved last year out and separated it, just so I kind of have an idea of where the breaking point was. So taxes now has 20, 40, 55, 60, 61, 62, 63, and 64. Now I can't remember if I took the one. I'll have to look at that later. Hold on. So taxes had 38 and 26. Okay, 64 is right. Sorry. And this is um, baseball soccer fund. It's getting 20, 20, 40, 60, 81, 25, 6, and 7. And I have already filled out my tracker, so I'm just trying to make sure I got it right. And this money is used for my kids' sports. We have three 
trips coming up in um, March and May for baseball. And then I have my niece's wedding in April. And then my other son has a baseball trip and a soccer trip coming up. So any money here will be put to good use. And my son's getting $5 and he has $5. So now he has 10. He did spend some of his money out of here to go towards a bat for the new season. And my other son has not spent any, so he's getting $5. And he has 20, 25, 30, 35. My other son is doing envelopes on his own as well as this, so I'm not sure he'll touch his. He's kind of into saving with his mom right now, so that's kind of a fun little family thing we're doing. This is my 52 week challenge. Um, I got this off Tara Budgets, and her Etsy name is dog mom crafts with a K so she does it forwards and backwards so each week is $53 which is turning out to be more each week than I like realized so there might be some weeks that I don't make enough to put 53 in here but why I can I'm going to and kind of just see where we end up so 20 40 50 1 2 and 3 get that in here Um, so my package finally came in the mail both my packages finally came in the mail so you see a few new things in here and then when I stuff up this weekend for our regular budget you will see some new stuff in there 51 20 40 60 82 20 40 60 83 20 40 50 60 61 62 63 64 65 66 67 68 69 70 and 71 did I grab too many no, nope, that's right. Okay. So I haven't updated this yet, but I will. But 371 for um, this will be week seven. So that's growing really quick. And my plan for this, um, assuming it doesn't change because it, like it's 52 weeks and I'm on week seven, so it could obviously change, but is to put some towards our mortgage principal and some stuff back into our envelopes. All right, and Christmas is getting 20. So I have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, and 40. I'm pretty excited with how quick that's adding up as well. It's exciting to see. And savings, and that was already open, silly. It's getting 20. So I have 20, 40, 60, 81, 10, 15, and 16 in savings. Seven weeks it starts to add up pretty quick and debt is getting that could work 28 so I'm gonna do tens I think 10 20 25 26 27 28 okay. um, so in debt I have 51, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65. So that'll be a nice little chunk at the end of the month that I put towards our mortgage principal. A couple more weeks to save, so that's exciting. And vacation, vacation is the one I'm trying to prioritize a little more just because we do have all those trips coming up. Vacation's getting 30, 20, and 30. What vacations do you guys have coming? What are you excited about? 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 1, 110, 115, 116, 117. I love going on sports trips with the kids. They have so much fun and we have so much fun with the parents and getting to see my boys do what they love to do. It's just a win-win. There's no bad to it. So, 20, this is self-care. It got 10, 20, 30, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. So, I think when I get enough in here, I am going to go get my toes and my fingers done. That's what I'm rewarding myself with um, when I get enough in there. I don't even know how much that will cost, so got some time. This is my new envelope I just started a couple weeks ago and it's for a new cell phone. So my phone is a seven and I feel like I have used it and loved it. And this is getting 
20 and that I am going to save for a new phone so I can pay cash for it and not have it be like a payment. 20, 30, 40, 45, 46. <laughs> well, that's a mess. Try that again. Sometimes. 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, and 57. So what is that like? A tenth of a phone? <laughs> I don't even know. This money is the tax money from 2021. I'm leaving it in here till I see if I need it. If I don't need it, I'm going to stuff it back in these envelopes as like a little bonus. And if I do need it, then I will put it in the bank and use it for a tax bill if we have one based on our W-2 jobs and that. This is my Tara box also from Dogmon Crafts and she is getting ready to restock these. I believe she said January 18th in her last video. They're awesome. It comes with all these little envelopes and you can choose the amounts. I personally started at 10 and went up to 61 um, so I could have some lower amounts that I could hit. I didn't know when I started my side hustle how much I'd be making so I kept it somewhat low. And last week I picked this envelope, it's little camels, and I picked 23, so that's what should be here. If I did my math right this week, 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23. I'm going to put that in there. And I feel like for week 7, I am doing really well. Get all that money. Whoop, whoop. And I'm going to pick an envelope up for next week and see what it is. 56, a big one, but I'm kind of... I'm. I'm kind of wanting to get the big ones out of the way because I know once summer comes and my boys have games every night, I won't be able to do my side hustles. So I think that is a good number to pick for this week. Um, I was going to share a couple more things with you guys. So um, this budgeting journey, as you've probably experienced yourself, has done a couple things. It's made me really be conscious of the little stuff I spend here and there, of how much we were just hitting a drive through because it was convenient. Um, but it's also kind of made me become obsessed with savings challenges and all of the cool, beautiful stuff on Estee. And I am not a crafty person. I wish, I wish I would have even gotten a little bit of the craft gene, but I'm like a negative percentage crafty. So looking at everybody else's beautiful stuff is almost addicting to me, but I did pick up a couple of challenges. I don't know when I'm gonna start them. I picked up this one and I can't remember the Etsy shop I got it from, but, um, Starting in um, August, I started a weight loss journey. Um, I just kind of got into a place I wasn't happy. And this week, I hit 20 pounds lost since August. So slow and steady. And I'm going to start this next week in my regular budgeting. And I'm going to start it with $20. And then I'm going to go the next 12 weeks and see if I can lose. I'm hoping for a pound a week. That, that's a goal. More would be great. And I like the idea of a 12-week challenge, kind of get it done quick and feel like you accomplished something and also motivate me. Um, if I don't lose any weight, then it's not going to get any money and that's going to make me sad. So I'm really going to try. So that's going to start next week. And then I picked up these cute ones from Lisa Grateful Me. These are the cash envelopes and then these are the backers. I'm probably not going to start these till I finish one of my other ones. But aren't they adorable? So if you guys are inclined, go to Lisa Grateful Me. I don't know what her Etsy shop name is, but her channel is Lisa Grateful Me, and it's awesome. So I got those, and I don't know when I'm going to start them, but I'm just loving it. So um, a little fact about me is we have been fostering dogs since COVID started, and we have fostered 22 dogs. And I thought this is a great thing because whenever we get a new puppy, I spoil it or a dog. It doesn't have to be a puppy. And um, so I'll get it a new leash and a collar that I send with the adopters and toys. And um, this will be great for me to save up for the next dog. So um, I love this. And then I just love this one. I think I'm going to do a row at a time. And then I could finish it in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten weeks. It might be a little... Um, ambitious we'll see gosh isn't this cute so cute she has a lower priced one on there too i didn't print it but so cute so those are the challenges um so thank you for being here if this is content that you like and you'd like to watch my journey i would welcome you um on weekends i do our regular budget and i do um mortgage payoff updates 
And um, again, if you would go visit Budgeting the Bacon, who's on a similar journey as me, and D versus Debt, and watch her videos and really get her the watch time that she needs to monetize, I would truly appreciate it. And I think um, if you like my content, you will love theirs. They do great work. So that's all I have for you tonight. Take care, and I'll see you this weekend. Bye.